Hey guys, it's Dean with the uh, Ronald Computer Museum. So today we have a couple of pieces of equipment that were recently donated, and our curator Dan is going to tell us all about it. What do we have, Dan? So what we have here is an RJE terminal. It's the RJE stands for Remote Job Entry Terminal. Uh, it has card reader up here, so you can put in your jobs by card reader. And over here, it has the eight-inch floppy disk. So if you have your floppies, you can put your floppies this way. Another and this one was, on the other side too. And this was donated by IBM? This was donated by IBM. Uh, this is a small little display that comes with it. The thing must weigh 700 pounds. It's really heavy. Well, I am happy it's Y2K ready. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Over here is the printer. Big drum printer. And these are some of the communications protocols that came with it, including the telephone. So, would this be modem ISDN type stuff? These, yes, these are just the modem ends. Data phone 2400. Yep. And we can sell the, see the old school Bell Systems logo on that here with the, that three point three and a half inch floppy on there. So, do we know what this was originally used for? Well, this one was actually a test equipment that IBM used for their own purposes. So this was always with IBM, and they used it to uh, prototype the remote job entries and whatever programs they used on the remote job entries. So it originally started in New York, they moved it out to California, and then they moved it to Rochester, Minnesota, and they recently donated it to, to us from Rochester, Minnesota, and they paid the shipping costs. So this, uh, this unit here would have been in service pretty much, what were you going to say, 80s? 80s to maybe five years ago. Wow. Something like that. And then this printer is absolutely, absolutely yeah. massive and has all of its workings here. It has a built-in power supply yes. on it just in case you hook anything else up. And then, as you said up here, this is a built-in built card reader. Yes. For So even at this point... They were still processing jobs on cards. You if, could, if need for, be. If you need, if you needed to process jobs on cards, you would use something like this. You could, rather than have a 360 in your building, you could have a remote job entry at a different location and still put it into your mainframe 360. Slightly newer, but still vintage IBM equipment. So what we have here is a IBM 390 mainframe computer, but it's like a baby mainframe computer. It does work off of 120 voltage, which is really impressive. And we'll show you in a minute, I'll show you the big brother for this. Along with that, they donated an AS400 and another printer, the Cherokee printer here. So is this printer similar to the, the big guy we saw over there or different, different models? These are different versions of them or, or different models that came later on. The AS400 is a mainstay from IBM for the office uh, computers at the time when they were starting to do LANs and networks. So this would be the, like the central server, maybe even a database server for an office? For, for an office at the time, yes. Wow. Let's take a look at the big 390 now. So this is the big 390. Wow. This is the same thing as the, as the smaller one, uh, different vintage, different years. And you can see inside, Wow, so we're looking at, so now this one obviously is not 120. No. Okay, okay so this, this one is has the big power coupling. Big power supply. Big power coupling. This is the power the coupling end. for this guy, so special power required right. for, for this unit. But again, taking a look at the, you can see, the, the you cabinet. Can see, you can see the couplings in here. Wow, that's quite, quite something. <laughs> so this was used by the Department of Labor and Training and this would cut the unemployment checks for the state of Rhode Island. Wow. You use a, a PC to I was say, to boot was this the terminal, up. so to speak, for yes. this machine? Wow. Yeah, this is how you'd start up the machine. Wow. So again, so recently this was in service until just recently? Uh, this one probably maybe the past 10 years. Wow. And after that, it was this one. All right, so going into a little bit here. And so this is a Z series. Trying to get some light for you guys so we can see everything. So this is a Z series IBM server. Right, and this one's an 890. And now they're into the cloud, so they'll be. So a lot of these big refrigerator sized machines, even though they're semi-modern, are all getting cloud-based now. Yes. And unfortunately this hardware is not being used like it used to. I'm guessing up here is a 
the other uh, similar terminal to get the guy going. Yes. Again, this was recent donations to the museum from IBM. Uh, gigantic hulking machines that were pretty much in service by IBM directly until until recently and then donated here to the museum and maybe we'll see them in a future video. So Dan, thank you for showing that stuff off to us and uh, we'll see what we have soon. You're welcome.